हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन रेलवेज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन रेलवेज इज क्लोजली लिंक्ड विद द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन इन द प्रिमिटिव डेज गुड्स वर कैरीड एज हेड लोड्स और इन कार्स ड्रिवन बाय आइदर मैन और एनिमल देन दीज वर रिप्लेस्ड बाय मैकेनिकल पावर इन 1769 Nicolas Carnot a Frenchman carried out the pioneer work of developing steam energy This work had very limited success and it was only in 1804 that Richard Trevithick designed and constructed a steam locomotive and this locomotive however could be used for traction on roads only The credit of perfecting the design goes to Mr George Stephenson who developed the first steam locomotive in 1814 for traction on railways and the first public railway in the world was opened to traffic on 27 September 1825 between Stockton and Darlington in the UK The first attempt to introduce railways in India was made in 1844 when Mr R M Stephenson submitted a proposal to East India Company for construction of railway line between Howrah and Hooghly. Mr Stephenson formed the East India Railway Company for construction of railway line and in 1849 a project on construction of a railway line from Howrah to Raniganj was sanctioned in 1850 another contract was given to the great india peninsula railway company for construction of railway line from bombay to thane the first railway line from bombay to thane was opened for passenger traffic for a distance of 34 km on 16th april 1853 and that was the landmark day in the history of indian railways that was the day when first railway line was opened between bombay and thane another railway line between howrah and hooghly that was of 39 km was opened for passenger traffic on 15th august 1854 now with the success of these two projects the period from 1850 to 1866 is considered as the first stage of development of indian railways and it is classified as the early guarantee system the government guaranteed a minimum percentage of return to shareholders in order to attract private enterprises to construct railways but it retained the right to purchase these railways at the end of either 25 years or 50 years as a result of that eight railway companies were established in india and these were great india peninsula railway the east indian railway the madras railway bombay baroda and central india railway sindhya railway eastern bengal railway the south indian railway and the calcutta and south eastern railway all these were private companies and government guaranteed minimum percentage of return to shareholders of these companies to attract more finances in railways 1869 it was decided by the british government that future railway will be either under the new guarantee scheme or under state owned railways few states started construction of railway line separately the government however exercised a considerable measure of control to commercialize them at the time there were company managed railways under the new guarantee system as well as state managed railway and after 1870 the railway developed very fast the meter gauge was adopted in 1871 to build cheap and economic rails in the country and the first meter gauge line was opened between delhi and farukanagar in 1873 1874 to 79 was the period when india had a disastrous famine and that required construction of new railway lines for the transportation of men and material 
and in 1879 their total kilometrage in the country was around 14920 km and by the end of century that is in 1900 it stood at 39603 km the first hill railway that is darjeeling himalayan railway which was a narrow gauge ra railway was inaugurated in 1881 now narrow gauge railway is 2 feet wide that is 0.60 meter wide and in 1891 toilets were introduced in third class coaches 1903 96 km long kalka shimla narrow gauge line was opened to traffic on 9th november 1903 in 1905 that is another important year in the history of indian railways railway board was established with one president and two members to look into the management and finance of indian railways when the finance condition of the railway did not improve even after constitution of this railway board in 1907 a makai committee was constituted to look into the problems of indian railways and as a outcome of this committee recommendation railway board was reorganized and railway board took several initiative to improve the railway system in the country and in 1914 the total kilometrage stood at 56456 km 19 14 to 21 was the period of world war 1 and it required construction of new railway lines at, at strategic locations and in 1923 nationalization of railway started in 1925 as a general policy to assume control over company railways the government took over the management of east india railway and great india peninsula railway this was the year when the first railway line was electrified and it consisted of the harbour branch line of great india peninsula railway it was the year when the local train system started in mumbai and the first train was from bombay to kurla the railway finance was separated from general budget in 1925 and the first railway budget was presented in parliament by the then railway minister mr john mathoy in 1930 indian railways stretched over a length of 66302 km in 1937 burma was separated from india and about 3200 km of railway lines taken out of indian railways because of this partition in 1947 another division of india and that was also a loss to railway lines the total track route in undivided india at independence was around 65000 km out of which 10700 km went to the newly created state of pakistan and total length of indian railway stood at 54000 km of track during 1949 to 50 regrouping of railways was done and the railway and the railway was divided into six zones central railway eastern railway northern railway north eastern railway southern railway and western railway and later three more zones were added that is south eastern railway north east frontier railway and south central railway in 1950 the production of steam locomotive started in chitranjan locomotive works and in 1952 railway staff college was set up at vadodara railway testing and research center was set up that is rtrc integral coach factory icf was set up in madras for production of all welded steel lightweight integral coaches and in 1969 new delhi howrah rajdhani express running at a speed of 120 km per hour was introduced In 1974 Rail India Technical and Economic Services or RITS was formed in 1976 IRCON was formed and 84 first metro rail was introduced in Kolkata and in 2002 Jan Shatabdi train was introduced During the period from 1996 to 
the zones were added and in the railways and by the end of 2003 indian railways had 16 zones which were earlier 9 and 67 divisions with effect from 1st april 2003 and the zones are central railway with its headquarter in mumbai eastern railway with headquarter in kolkata east central railway with headquarter in hajipur east coast railway bhubaneswar northern railway headquarter delhi north central railway alabal north eastern railway headquarter in gorakhpur north east frontier railway headquarter in maligaon and north western railway with headquarter in jaipur and southern railway has its headquarter in chennai south central railway in sikandrabad south eastern railway in kolkata south east central railway in bilaspur south western railway hubli western railway in mumbai and west central railway in jabalpur as on 31st march 2022 the total route length of indian railway stand at 68043 km running track is 102831 km and total track is 128305 km indian railways runs around 11000 trains every day of which 7000 are passenger trains it carries some 23 million passengers every day from one place to another and around 1060 million tons of freight in a year number of applies in railways is around 1.54 million now some important trains which we have been recently introduced vande bharat express is a short distance train operated by indian railways similar to shatabdi express these are day train services that connect major indian cities which are in a distance of less than 8 days time and it was first launched on 15th february 2019 there are 50 operational services and with that the vande bharat express has revolutionized rail travel providing state of the art amenities and reducing travel time for passengers another important train on indian railways is gatiman express which was introduced on 5th april 2016 it is a semi high speed train and was started between delhi and agra to cover a distance of 200 km in 100 minutes it is equipped with a 5500 hp electric locomotive two executive ac chair cars and eight ac chair car coaches the train has a high power emergency braking system automatic fire alarm system gps based passenger information system and sliding doors in all coaches another one is duranto express it is a category of long distance fast trains run by the indian railways and these trains do not have any passenger stops between their origin and destination these trains connect the metro and major state capitals of india currently 24 pairs of duranto express are in operation as on march 2022 and these trains were introduced in 2009 and they were named duranto which means speedster in bengali garib rath trains they were introduced in 2006 and they can travel at a maximum speed of 130 km per hour which is at par with rajdhani and durantos the train's inaugural trip began in saharsa bihar and ended in amritsar punjab and covering a distance of 1773 km in 30 hours and around 50 garib rath trains are running at present the next one is cng train In a milestone in adoption of green fuel in Indian railways the first CNG train was launched on Rewadi Rohtak section of northern zone on January 14 2015 and introduction of CNG train will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by the railways and also the consumption of diesel railways have modified 1400 hp engine to run on dual fuel that is diesel and CNG through fumigation technology then comes double decker trains double decker express trains of indian railways have 
high priority and among fast trains in India. At present, there are six AC and two non-AC double-decker express trains operating in India. Now, this type of trains was introduced on short travel routes and to cater more people than a conventional chair car carriage. India's first double-decker train was the Surat Mumbai Central Double Decker Express, also called the Flying Rani or the Rani Express. The train was a symbol of modernization in Indian railways. And then double stack long haul container trains. The world's first double stack long haul container train from New Atali in Haryana to New Kishanganj in Rajasthan was flagged off in India on January 7, 2021. Bio toilets. Indian Railways has developed IRDRDO bio toilets jointly with the DRDO. This is the name given to these toilets, IRDRDO. Now all the coaches are fitted with bio toilets except EMUs and in this technology bacteria is degraded human excreta completely in the biodigester tank and only disinfected effluent is drained out from it. So friends, these are some of the advancements made on Indian Railways. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can suggest, you can write your comments in the comment box.